Hey guys, it's Elena. Um, first and foremost, I need you to excuse what's happening all over here. I spent the last like five minutes looking at myself in the reflection of this computer monitor trying to fix this. And well, I finally gave up because I'll be here all day <laughs> trying to fix. It's like a weird Let's take my camera into some of the shows and some of the events and some of the parties that I went to during New York Fashion Week, and I wanted to share that footage with you. Obviously, I didn't record everything and anything that like I was afraid would compromise, you know, my invitation to these types of things. But I was able to get some footage and hopefully edit it in a way that'll be super entertaining for you guys and you guys will love. It's a bittersweet video because. It was the first time I'd returned to New York since moving out of the city um, and it was hard because I miss it so much. I miss it so much. I'm actually going to try to go back in a few weeks because I'm just like going through massive withdrawals. We actually drove by our old apartment and we had a terrace, like a huge terrace on our apartment and I looked up and I could see people like on the terrace. Like, a, like I think I saw like a lady up there. It's pretty high up so it's hard to tell. Um, and I was like, get out of my apartment! That's mine! I was like, being crazy. Make sure to follow me on Snapchat, make sure to subscribe to this channel, and make sure to follow me on Insta for all the goodies too. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments below. For those of you who aren't familiar with um, the blogger Garance Dre, I'm sure I'm butchering her name since I have no ability to pronounce the French accent or language at all, um, but she's a fantastic illustrator and blogger, um, an artist really, and she's very pr prominent in the fashion scene. And during Fashion Week, she had a kind of cafe open up in collaboration with Contour, I can't pronounce it, um, that alcohol brand, you'll see the logo um, in the footage. Um, but basically they did a little pop-up cafe, um, they had speakers, they had designers come and talk, people like Philip Lim, um, I mean a ton of people came and spoke at her cafe as well it was just open for people to do work and like get stuff done, um, you know, like while you know the craziness of New York Fashion Week ensued and so I made sure to stop by and uh, record some footage of what it looked like inside because it was beautiful um, and they had cocktails and they had coffee and I got to work on my blog that I posted before um, I'll link it here um, and so I uh, had a great time there. It was really great to escape the heat, escape the rain, and just spend some time in her pop-up cafe. So, one of the things that I got to do during New York Fashion Week that I was like starstruck by was go to an event at Saks Fifth Avenue and meet the one and only Manolo Blahnik. As you guys have seen and known uh, through all of my hauls and through all of my shared information, I am addicted to shoes. I have more shoes than is probably legal. And a lot of those come from the legendary uh, Mr. Blonick. Um And so when I was invited, I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna go. He was autographing his book and shoes. And I ended up buying a pair of uh, black Manolo Blahniks and it was actually kind of a, a fiasco because I didn't have him sign it at the event only because I thought that was a little like 
weird. Like I'm like, here, I'm here to meet you. And I'm also going to have you autograph things for me. It's like, that seems like, especially like when people and at fashion week parties, people are so like, <laughs> and so like, I have to be that way. <laughs> I don't have to be that way, but I, I was, and I shouldn't have been because it ended up biting me in the ass basically because, um, I bought a pair of Manolos and the girl was like, don't worry, I'll have him sign the box for you and we'll ship them to you. And I said, that's actually great because I live in California now and I don't want to have to carry them with me. And so, um, he, so I bought the shoes, whatever, whatever. And then I get back to California and he signed the sole of the shoe, which these were $1,300 shoes or 11. They were like eleven ninety five plus tax, whatever. And it's like, like, I didn't spend that much money for him to sign the bottom of the shoes so that I can never wear them. And so I kept on calling and calling Sats and I still haven't gotten through to anybody. I still have the shoes sitting in a box and I have no way of communicating to them like, hey, look, like you guys, uh, I want to be able to wear these $1,300 shoes and now I can't because his autograph is at the bottom of them. So I don't know what to do. So probably the coolest thing I got to do during New York Fashion Week was attend um, the Meet My Boyfriend uh, Chanel Watch event. It was so beautifully orchestrated. It had a Chanel vending machine. It had a Chanel Coca-Cola machine. They let me try on like a 20,000 plus watch. You got Chanel temporary tattoos. It was just so awesome. And all of the wait staff and all of the staff were these handsome men. And so it was so much fun to go. And I got to record a little bit to share with you guys. <laughs> so excited about it. One of the places in New York that I go to that is my moment of zen, it's in one of my favorite neighborhoods in New York, it's in Union Square, is a bookstore called Strand. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard it because it's actually like a very famous bookstore. They sell antique, rare, vintage, new, used. I mean, they sell every kind of book you can think of. While I was there, I turned on my camera and I figured I would record a little bit of my exploration. I've been getting a lot of requests for hauls, but obviously because of the move, I haven't been able to record one. So while I was shopping in New York, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys why, what I buy while I buy it. So here you go. I'm obsessed with this dress. I think this one is a size US 10 and I got it I think it's like 90 bucks so that's a pretty good deal for this and it has pockets look how cute that is yes thank you so normally I would never show you guys this outfit because it's so bad. <laughs> look how horrible these shorts look on me. Oh my god, these shorts are like the ugliest thing I can. <laughs> like they are not flattering at all. This top isn't too bad. It has like a little lace up, but it's nothing special. Um, it's a little bit cropped. Yeah, but these shorts. <laughs> so crazy. I look insane. <laughs> this is not a good look. I'm actually wearing a nude bra underneath this, which I think that if I got this dress, I wouldn't. And I think I would actually go down one size. This is a size 10 in the US, and I think I would do an 8. But it's like with the conservative girl's naked dress, because as you can see, there's like panels on the side there. And it's very elegant and beautiful. Unfortunately, though, 
and nobody invites me anywhere, so I don't know where I would wear this dress, but I'm like obsessed with it. I do think it's really pretty, and this, like I said, was a size 10. Um, it's a hundred and ninety US dollars. So this is like a shirt <laughs> with a sweater, like it's like attached. You see that? Um, it's actually pretty cute. It's a size US. Six. I love the collar. I feel like maybe this is a little bit boxy because of these bits. Um, I think it's super cute, right? I think it's pretty cheap too, so I think I might just get it. Like it's cute. It's just it's so hot right now. It's hard for me to like imagine wearing this because it's like outside. It's like 90 degrees and humid, and I'm like. But once it cools down, this would be so cute with like a pair of jeans. This skirt is my own. It's BCBG from like last season. Super cute. And this is the last thing right here. I'm like obsessed with this dress, but I have so many of them. I don't even think I'm gonna try it on because I'm, I have so many of this shape of dress and I never, ever wear it so anyways so far this is the only one that i think i'm gonna get along with the sweater this one i'm obsessed with but it's a size zero because i didn't look at the tag and i looked at the hanger and so i'm gonna try to see if i can find a different a bigger size okay. i am like obsessed with these leather faux leather pants from zara these are in a medium See. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this skirt. It's like a knitted skirt. It's, I don't know. It's it's like tight enough or whatever, but it's so long, I kind of feel like it's a little, like, too conservative, but then with heels it might look cute, but like I never wear heels, so I do I actually wear them. And it's only like 20 bucks too, so it's like, should I do it for $20, but then I probably never wear it, you know? Okay, last thing is this shirt. I'm not in love with it at all. But I do like this part. Also, everything I tried on is black. Everything. It's black. Filming. Hello. Garrett and I did face masks. We used Lush Don't Look At Me. Don't look at me. <laughs> and it has lemon juice and ground rice as the exfoliator. It's gluten free, dairy free, vegan. Not tested on animals. It's very important that it's not tested on animals. Very important. But yeah, it is vegan. I don't know if it's gluten free. Don't say anything about that. <laughs> it probably is. How do you know if something's gluten free? Well, I don't think rice typically has gluten. We we gluten anyway. I don't know. But Audrey made this on September fifteenth. So thank you, Audrey. This is Audrey. Oh, well, you can't see it. That's Audrey right there and um yeah it feels pretty good it smells really good it smells like lemony but we kind of look like smurfs green smurfs it's blue garrett 
You're so colorblind. <laughs> He's so colorblind. Okay, say bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Maybe. He said, "This is our, this is our newest client. He decided to drop in and have one of our finest beauty technicians apply a face mask, which is non-animal tested." <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm telling you. Lena. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> You still feeling me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have my eyes. I feel like crusty. I don't get them now. There's no, there's no, there's no mask on your eyes. Really? Yeah, okay. Hey. <laughs>